What's going on guys, it's Boys and Station Live. Welcome you guys back to my channel. So as long as you guys know that I bought a brand new car, well not a brand new car, but I sold the Subaru to get something a bit more practical, a bit more family orientated. I'm like 28 years old now, so I sort of <laughs> didn't really want the Subaru Impreza anymore. Even though it was a lovely car and it lasted me six years, like I had that, that car for six years, I don't really use the power, I, I don't need it, I don't need like a sports race car. So I decided to buy a BMW. Now, a lot of you guys have seen in the past like videos on the BMW, but not too many. So today, we're gonna do like a proper little montage. I'm gonna take it to go and get it washed now. And then we're just gonna try and do a proper montage. The sun is going down, but it's steamed right up in here. And <laughs> I need to defrost the window and yeah, get going. And there's like 15 miles of fuel. So uh, let's get into it. the car wash area just about to wash the car but also to let you guys know that i had the bonnet resprayed on this car as well i had the bonnet and the wings because when i bought this car the bonnet and the wings were pretty bad so i'm gonna do like a little montage show you guys the bonnet and the wings and then i'm gonna wash this bad boy <laughs> for the for the car wash now I think it's like ugh, pound coins I'm not too sure pretty sure it's pound coins but yeah it's really shiny but because it's so dark and like literally it looks like we're supposed to be having like a hurricane coming through like we've never we never have hurricanes in the UK but I'm pretty sure we got one coming I've looked on like an app and there's one coming pretty pretty, pretty damn close so yeah I'm gonna wash this real quick and then I'm gonna try get back home before it rains like it looks like it's gonna rain but yeah I'm still gonna wash it anyway well dark in here now that is the car fully washed let's do the wipers there we go so yeah the car is now fully washed i'm happy with it it wasn't really that dirty to begin with anyway but yeah i'll show you guys this like so-called like hurricane that's supposed to be coming i downloaded this app which is like a hurricane app or something and basically it shows you all hurricanes that are currently happening around the world and the one that's sort of coming for us is this one here. So like, I live in Plymouth, so it sort of shows you where it is. And it's like a thousand miles away, but it comes right in where I am. Like I'm down here in the south and it sort of goes past here. So it's going to be pretty damn windy tonight. And this is supposed to be about eight o'clock. It does slow right down at speed. It says like 45 miles per hour, but it drops from like 60. So we got this warning coming and then it also shows you like the satellite, which is pretty cool. Like a very short clip of it and the cone of where it's going pretty cool but we have to see how that plans out like they always like hype and say oh yeah shit's gonna happen and it never actually does so i don't know i don't think anything will actually happen and yes i put fuel in the car but not much <laughs> 
Guys, if you were wondering why I wasn't using the, when I washed the car, I used the brush on the bonnet or the wings, it's because I was told not to use any brushes or sponges or anything on the wings or the bonnet of the car uh, for at least like two weeks, up to a month uh, after, because obviously it's fresh paint and it was scratched really, really easy and it needs to still harden. So it's all right for it to rain on. It's all right for it to like, obviously me to like spray wash it and spray the dust off it with water. But obviously putting any sort of like pressure on it with like a sponge or anything or especially that bristle which i don't know what cars that's been on um it's just going to put dirt into the paint and it's just going to scratch it really easy so i'm trying to stay away from it but i love it man i love having air con it's so much better like it's a good trade-off really i've traded like performance power loud noise and all that stuff for just a real laid back chilled out really nice like experience i don't know i was going to put the g fuel sticker on it i was going to tint the windows but I don't really need to. I'm not, like I said, I'm not into that stuff at all. Like I'm really not into any of that fancy stuff anymore. And it is like an M Sport model or whatever. It's got like the M Sport like badge logos on it and stuff. But I'm just, really don't care. <laughs> oh damn, right. Let's uh, press on.